Hey YouTube, it's Adam from I'm a Music Mogul and welcome to another remake video. Today we'll be taking a look at Selfish by the one and only Future featuring Rihanna. And of course this track is off Future's latest album, Hendrix. If you haven't listened to it yet, you gotta listen to it. It dropped about last week I believe. I listened to it front to back and every single song is just like incredible. The sounds in it are nice and full and lavish. And one of the songs in particular that stood out was of course this song right here, Selfish. It just evoked a lot of emotion and this is pretty much the future that I love, that singing slash rapping slash sort of soulful future and that we get that in this track. And um, just in general, Rihanna's vocals on this was also on point. The entire song is just so well put together, the sounds and just how everything came together. So I felt compelled to do a remake on this song. So here we are here sharing that remake with you done in Logic Pro X. Now every single sound that you hear in this session is triggered by a Logic stock plugin. Uh, the only things that have been sampled are a couple effects elements and I'll show you what those are as we get through this remake. So I'm gonna go ahead and start and take you through step by step through this session. The tempo is at 95 beats per minute. So let's go ahead and start off with the intro. So of course here we have our main chords for the song, which is a triggered by Logic's EXS24, Steinway Piano 2. Then we have a quick sweep at the beginning of the track. So this quick sweep was actually sampled from the original track uh, just to kind of speed up my remake process. We got the ahs and the os, which are also sampled from the original track. I just sampled that and popped it into a EXS24 instrument. Uh, next, I added some elements myself, like ambience. I just felt like it fit the track and I put in a short sweep over here at the end. One thing that I should also mention is here we have a reverse. Now what I did right there was take my first chord, uh, bounced it in place, reversed it, and I get this right here. So we get that reversed piano, and that reversed piano is used throughout the entire track as you see here. So let's go ahead and just unsolo everything here. And let's move on to our first verse which is about 16 bars long. I mean, it could be considered 32 bars long, but for the first 16, it's just Rihanna, and we get this. So for that part, it's pretty much is used for the entire 32 bars here. I was gonna take you through it right now. So we got this build sound. That's made using Logic's ES2 synthesizer. So it kind of creates tension in the track and it just keeps building and building. Uh, then we got ourselves the Moog bass. That's used also making Logic's, uh, that's also used by uh, using Logic's ES2 synthesizer, using the Drake pad preset that I have. Of course, we also need those as and those O's. We also have an effects that I put in here, sweep down. So that pretty much repeats itself for 16 bars. And then we go into the next, next 16 bars where Future jumps in. 
I believe it's at the 16th bar mark halfway in, but uh, then we get ourselves a kick and a snap clap. So there's that reverse piano again. So again, all the same sounds here. Some stuff is taken in and out as per the track, but uh, just here, all we've added was the kick and a snap. Then we go from there into our chorus or our hook and we get something like this. So once again, we have that build sound. Here I've added a pad. This pad is also done using Logic's ES2 synthesizer. I'm using the Kygo Firestone pad tutorial preset that I put together. Then we have also a Moog bass here. We have our piano. Piano, once again, is that same Steinway Piano 2 EXS24 instrument. We also have the marimba, which is driven by Logic Sculpture. Um, it's the preset classic marimba. I just added some effects to it. And we get this. It adds a layer to the piano. Everything there else is just um, the earrings to the track. So we got the eyes and the O's again, the sweep down, which is an effect, the ambience. And the ambience sounds like this. And of course the kick and the snap clap. And then we jump into Futures Verse, and it's pretty much the same thing again. I'm just gonna speed up here because we've seen everything. We got that Moog bass from ES2, the Oz and the O's, and this reverse piano keeps coming in at different parts of the track. We got our kicks and our snaps. Uh, nothing really changes after that point on. It's pretty much just place them in the right spot and you're off the races. Uh, once again, we got our chorus back here, and this time they add another four bars to the, to the hook. So again, nothing changed there. All the sounds are the same. Nothing has been added for the breakdown here at the end or the bridge. Uh, it's eight bars long, nothing too crazy. It's just that build sound. The Moog bass and those uhs and ohs. And then we get into our outro. And uh, it's pretty much once again, repeated from before, all the same sounds from our previous hook. And at the end for our outro, is uh it just kind of fades out with the marimba playing some effects and our kick and our snap clap now i know i kind of rushed the latter part of the song but it's pretty much the exact same as the first part that i showed you all the same sounds all the same notes all the same just everything just placed at different parts and chopped up to give some nice feeling to the track. So now what we're gonna do here is gonna play the entire track for you guys so you hear what it sounds like in its entirety with all of the effects in place, all the sort of cuts and drops, and that's pretty much what makes this song really good. This song is really simple, it's nothing too crazy, nothing too wild, 
And again, when you're making beats, try and keep it simple because that's what really makes hits these days. Uh, just the simplicity is what really works and it really gives the opportunity for the singer to shine because it's not cluttered with so many instruments and sounds. So anyways, guys, aside from that tip, sit back, relax, and listen to the remake of Future's song, Selfish, featuring Anna, done in Logic X. So once again, that is the remake of Selfish by Future featuring Rihanna. For you Logic Pro users out there, I'm going to go ahead and save this entire session for you guys. Place it as a download link in the description box below. 
Uh, for you non-Logic users out there, as usual, I've got your back. I'm gonna export all the MIDI stems and all the samples so you'll have yourselves a nice play pack that you could use and import into your own DAW of choice and create a remake of Selfish yourself. If you do have any questions on this, you can ask me in the comment section below. For more great videos like this one, remember to hit that subscribe button and I'll talk to you all in the next one. Talk to you all soon. Later.